Unit 8, Day 4, Adding and Subtracting Radical Expressions. This is Mr. McGough up in R12, and today I'm going to go over the notes for Day 4 and some example problems. So first, the most important thing to know about adding and subtracting radicals. You can only add or subtract like radicals. Now what does that mean? Well, we've talked before about like terms. With radicals, that means something like 3 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 2. The radical itself, the number inside of the radical symbol, 2. So here I have the square root of 2. So to be a like radical, it must have the same number inside, and it must have the same power of the root. So these are both square roots, and they're both square roots of 2. So we can combine them. So 3 of them plus 2 of them equals 5 square root of 2. This is kind of like if we said 3x plus 2x equals 5x. So like terms, like radicals. Another way you may see your radicals would be unsimplified. Here we see the square root of 8. To simplify this radical, we'll get it factored. 8 factors into 2 and 4, and 4 is factored into 2 times 2. Here we see a pair of 2's. So when we have a pair, and this is a square root, I need a pair. They'll break out of the radical, and they'll leave the other 2 behind. So this would be simplified to 2 radical 2 plus 2 more radical 2, and that would give us 4 radical 2. What about if we had something like the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2? Those are not like radicals. So what do we do with them? Well, we leave them just as they are. It would be like saying x plus y. Square root of 3, square root of 2, not alike. So we do not combine them together. So problem number one, simplifying the following radical expressions. 3 times the square root of 2 plus 4 times the square root of 2. Here we have a like radical, square root of 2. 3 of them plus 4 of them is 7 of them. So it becomes 7 times the square root of 2. Next, square root of 200 minus the square root of 98. Well, we're first going to need to simplify these. 200 is 2 times 100. I could go all the way down through prime factors. However, if you recognize 100 as a perfect square of 10 times 10, then you can jump straight to that and not have to go all the way down to 2 times 5, 2 times 5. So here we have a pair of 10s. We'll take those outside the radical, just one of them, and we have 10 times the square root of 2. 98 is 2 times 49. 49 is a perfect square, 7 times 7. So this simplifies to 7 radical 2. We were subtracting that from 10 radical 2. We check. We do have the same like radicals for both expressions. So this is 3 times the square root of 2. 10 of them minus 7 of them equals 3 of them. The next one. Here we see that this is a cube root. So again, we don't immediately recognize these as being like radicals, but let's go ahead and simplify them. So 24 is factorable to 2 times 12, 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. This is a cube root, so we need a triplet, three of a kind. Here we have three twos as factors, so we can take that outside of the radical, and this becomes 2 times the cube root of 3. Radical 81, cube root of 81. 81 is 3 times 27. 27 is 3 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So here, again, I'm looking for 3 of a kind, a triplet. So I have three threes. So simplifying the cube root of 81, we'll get 3 times the cube root of 3. 
Now we'll look back and see if we have any like radicals. We have the cube root of 3 and the cube root of 3 in each term of this expression, so we can combine them. So 2 times the cube root of 3 plus 3 times the cube root of 3 becomes 5 times the cube root of 3. And don't lose your little radical root, so keep track of that. On number 4, here we have two expressions. We have whole numbers, or integers, and then we also have radical expressions. The first thing we need to do when we look at this is recognize that this negative symbol needs to be distributed into both terms inside of the parentheses. So we have 13 plus the square root of 2, and then we have minus 7. And then we have minus, minus 3, radical 2. Minus a negative becomes plus, so it becomes plus 3 radical 2. Now we will combine like terms. We'll start with the integers. I have 13 minus 7. They combine to 6. Now I'll take a look at my radicals. Are they like terms? Square root of 2 and 3 times the square root of 2. So they are like terms. So I have 1 of them plus 3 of them is 4 of them. 6 plus 4 radical 2, or 6 plus 4 times the square root of 2, is our final solution. Moving on, the next three, a, b, and c, I want you to go ahead and pause your video and try these on your own, and then when you restart the video, you'll see the solutions. So go ahead and hit pause. Okay, so hopefully you've done these on your own now. The first thing we do is we look and make sure that they are like terms. We also recognize that this last radical 3 is really 1 times radical 3, or whenever I say radical, it's the same thing as the square root of. So radical 3 is the same as the square root of 3. So how many of these do I have? Well, on the positives, I have 5 and 1 more. So that's 6 radical 3. And then I go minus 8 radical 3. 6 of them minus 8 of them is negative 2 of them. Negative 2 radical 3. If you prefer to go from left to right, that's fine. 5 of them minus 8 of them is negative 3 of them. And then we add one back, it's still negative 2 of them. Negative 2 radical 3. B. First, we need to simplify. 12 is 2 times 6. 6 is 2 times 3. This is a square root, so I need a pair of them. So I have a pair of 2's as factors. That becomes 2 times the square root of 3. 48 is 2 times 24. 24 is 2 times 12. 12 is 2 times 6. And 6 is 2 times 3. I'll go back and look for factor pairs, since this is a square root. I have a pair of 2's, so a 2 comes out front. And I have another pair of 2's, so another 2 comes out front. So I'm really going to have 4 out in front. So this is minus 4, and then what do I still have inside my radical? Just like before, I have a radical 3. So are they like? Yes, they are like terms. They both have the term square root of 3. I have 2 of them, minus 4 of them. That's negative 2, radical 3. And by the way, if you had noticed a little earlier that 48 is really 3 times 16 and 16 is 4 times 4 you could have just taken that 4 out right there again you don't have to go all the way down to prime factors if you recognize a pair of factors that are the same now cube root of 250 minus cube root of 54 let's simplify these first so 250 is 2 times 125. 125 is 5 times 25. 25 is 5 times 5. It's a cube root, so I need three of a kind, or triplets. Here I have three fives. I'll take them out front, and then still stuck inside of my radical, cube root of 2. The next part, minus, 
and I'm going to factor 54. 54 is 3 times 18. 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So, I need 3 of a kind. I can take out 3 3's. And then what's left? Inside of my radical symbol, cube root of 2. I have 5 times the cube root of 2 minus 3 times the cube root of 2. So both terms of this expression have cube root of 2 in them. Those are like terms. 5 minus 3 of them is 2 times the cube root of 2. On problem number 5, we're looking at a distribution problem before we can start our subtraction. So I'm going to distribute the cube root of 9 times each of the terms inside of the parentheses. Now, when I do this, I'm not going to multiply them together. I'm just going to leave them together inside the radical. So the cube root of 9 times the cube root of 12 is the cube root of 9 times 12. If I multiplied them together, the first thing I'd have to do to simplify is to factor them back apart. So it's easier just to list them as being multiplied together. 9 is 3 times 3. 12 is 3 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. It's a cube root, so I need 3 of a kind. So I have 3 3's. Inside, stuck inside my radical, I still have 2 times 2, or 4. So this becomes 3 times the cube root of 4. Now I'm going to do the second part of my expression. Cube root of 9 times negative cube root of 18. So this is going to be minus the cube root of 9 times 18. As before, we're going to factor. 9 is 3 times 3. 18 is 3 times 6. 6 is 3 times 2. I need 3 of a kind. So I have 3 3's. I'll take that out of the radical. And then what's left stuck inside the radical? A 3 and a 2. So I just multiply them back together again. And I get the cube root of 6. Now I look. I have the cube root of 4 and the cube root of 6 in my terms. Those are not like terms. So this is as far as I can go with this problem. That is the answer. Go ahead and pause your video and try letters D and E on your own. Okay, so as we did with problem 5. First, we're going to go ahead and distribute. Square root of 6 is really 1 times the square root of 6. And 2, well, there isn't any radical along with it. If you think about it, it's really the, like the radical of 1 or something. Square root of 1 next to it. But when we multiply our radicals together, we do outside times outside. And then inside the radical times inside the radical. So we'll start with 2 times 1 is 2. And that's 2 times the square root of 6. Now we have square root of 6 times the square root of 3. So we'll leave those as the square root of 6 times 3. Now we'll factor. 6 is 2 times 3. We have a pair of 3's. So we can take a 3 out. We have a 2 that doesn't have a partner. So we don't have a pair. So the 2 gets stuck inside of the square root. So I end up with 2 times the square root of 6 minus 3 times the square root of 2. I look to see if there are like terms. The square root of 6 and the square root of 2 are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. So this is as far as I can go. Letter E. I have a cube root. So let's try factoring this. 36 is 3 times 12. 12 is 3 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. I need three of a kind to be able to break anything out of this radical symbol. I don't have three of a kind. So I'll just put them all back together again, and it becomes the square root of 36 again. Excuse me, cube root of 36. Square root of 27. Well, 27 is 3 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. This is a square root, not a cube root. So I only need a pair. 
of the same factor. So here I have a pair of threes. And then stuck inside of the radical symbol is the other three. So this becomes the cube root of 36 plus 3 times the square root of 3. Those are not like terms. One's a cube root, one's a square root. That makes them different. And one is a 3 and the other's a 36. So this is as far as we can go. And that ends the video for today. Thank you.